What is up, guys? It is KikiZilla101 here yet again, and I'm gonna be starting my G Fest vlog. Yeah, so today is Friday, um, July 15th, I think it is. Yeah, 15th, and this is the first day of G Fest. Um, however, I'm not going for the first day, I'm going for the second and third on Saturday and Sunday. But my dad and I are gonna be leaving for the six hour drive to Chicago today. And we're going to be staying inside of a military base hotel thing. So, we're going to be going pretty soon. Um, but, yeah, I've just finished up completely packing. And that's all my stuff right there. Inside here, I got all my clothes and all the important stuff. And I got my tripod in here um, for recording videos and stuff. And, of course, here is Kiki Zilla. He's going to be joining us along with the ride to G-Fest. So, he can say he went to G-Fest too. Maybe I can get him a little G-Fest badge or something. But, yeah. So, I'm so excited. There's my brother, Ozzy. Hey. And, um, my dad and I are going to be leaving. And we're going to be, um, uh, my mom's going to be taking us to the, uh, rental car place. And then we're going to go to the bank to get some, um, or get my money out of the bank so I can have it for G-Fest. So, yeah. I'll just be continuously off and on recording throughout the rest of this so you guys can see G-Fest. Alright, cool. Time to say goodbye to the collection. I'll be back. And goodbye, Coco. See you later, buddy. Get in the rental car. Alright. Yeah. We're at the Enterprise. We're getting a rental car. We'll be heading to Chicago pretty soon here. Just got the rental car. We're testing everything out. It's kind of cool. It's a Ford what? What is it? Ford Escape. Escape. Okay. This is an Escape. And it's nice and black. My favorite color, so. Yep. Alright, we're getting out to go meet up with my mom and my brother. And we're going to get our luggage put in here. And then we're going to hit the road. Here's the. Here's the car. It's a uh, Ford Escape, and I'm just doing a little video. This is our Camaro, our Camaro, for my mom's Camaro. There's my brother. Oh, get my bags. Hey, wait, I'll grab it. I'll get my bags. Here's Kiki Zulu. Wait, I'll grab it. You want to put on the other side? Or? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is a Ford. Here behind the center. Hopefully it's not having to be fixed or repaired daily. It's comfortable. That's what really matters. There we go. We're all set. Yeah. Alright, so probably going to be heading out on the road pretty soon here so I'm going to say goodbye to them and we'll get going yeah. just got done just got some McDonald's and we're getting ready to hit the road but we're hooking up the music right now yep almost going to be heading on the road here and we're officially off to G-Fest. Woo! We're officially on the road, driving. We, I don't know if you guys saw the time earlier, but just in case you wanted, that was incorrect. We just had to fix the clock. It's actually 12.50 right now. And it was like 12.46 then, when you guys saw the clock. But, yeah. We're heading to G-Fest! It says our estimated arrival is 6.12 p.m. We'll see how accurate that is by the time, but, yep, catch you guys later. Guys, we're about to leave Ohio. Here's the arch upcoming. We're about to leave. <laughs> There's the arch. It says something, thank you for visiting. Yeah, it says thank you for visiting Ohio. So we're leaving into Indiana. Yeah, there we go. There's a sign, guys. Going to Indiana. We're one state closer right now. Yeehaw! We're in Indiana now. 
It's three of the same cars. This is a Ford Escape, and there's two more in front of us. And you can barely see the front one, but right there, you guys can kind of tell. It's kind of funny. There's another, more people in Colorado like us. And they have Grand Caravan, the newer one. We had an older one, but they also have the same roof uh, cargo, box. cargo box. And uh, we're probably like pretty close to uh, uh, in Indiana or what, what is it called? Frick, Illinois. 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 Pretty close to Illinois. Uh, and we'll record that when we hit the border. But yeah. Just a huge field. All these different wind turbines. As far as the eye can see. Literally. You can see the edge of them just barely off there. Man, I should have been recording that. Uh, we almost got taken out right over there at that corner. We were sitting there and we were pulling in here and there was a giant semi truck in the lane over. And he wasn't even in the lane to go turning here, but he turned his turning signal on last moment and we were halfway down him and he started turning. He almost clipped us. My dad turned the car and ran it into the grass and barely saved us from hitting that truck. It was crazy. So the truck is actually... um that one with the red on the back but that's the one that almost clipped us but we're getting gas and we're gonna get take a quick bathroom break because we're like right like halfway between em uh, empty and that last mark right there so we're almost empty but yeah we're almost near and uh, Illinois so quick little update we lost about 20 minutes. We were uh, looking at about like 550 something a little bit earlier, but the, one of the highway exits was closed, so we had to take a detour. And yeah, so now we're 20 minutes behind apparently. So yeah. Check out that pimp mobile. It's got gold plated. It's even got green on its rims. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my god. That's got a bull mastiff or something on it. Oh, we were wondering if we got to Illinois. We just apparently got to Illinois. I just checked on there. We just passed the border, but it didn't even have any signs, so that sucks. We've made it to the hotel. finally made it to the hotel. This is on the Navy base where, um, well, the ba Navy base next to the base that my dad uh, graduated from in boot camp, right? Yep. And if you guys don't know, my dad is in the Navy. He's been in the Navy for how many years now? Oh, 15. 15 years now. But yeah, we're here at this place. It looks pretty cozy, pretty fancy stuff everywhere. And he and I are going to walk down to the exchange they have here, which is pretty much like a food court slash grocery store place. And we're going to go get something to eat. And we'll be back. Maybe watch a Godzilla movie or something like that. See you. down to the complimentary, complimentary breakfast and uh, yeah we're gonna be um, he just went to the bathroom we're gonna be probably heading out pretty soon 
for a 45 minute drive out to um, G Fest, and I uh, have a list of the stuff we're gonna do um, when we get there. So, yeah, cool. Alright, guys, we're officially on the road to G Fest. Yeah! Oh, God. And I have my Godzilla 2000, uh, my second cover, so I can, if I meet anybody, um, I can have them sign it. But, yep. We're heading to G Fest. We are getting into the parking garage. It's a little bit more expensive than we thought. It's all the parking spots are taken um, near the convention, so yeah. But definitely G Fest. I saw Richard Eso out in front of the the building. If you guys know him from Fresh Vinyl, the YouTube channel, so saw him there. So we're here. Yeah. And we're here. <laughs> There's some cool artwork back there. And uh, now we're just getting ready to go into G Fest. <laughs> There's the doors. Thank you. <laughs> I have no idea where to go. Artist Alley. Artist Alley. Crown of hair. Ballrooms. We need to get a manual somewhere. Let's Yeah. <laughs> I was here this time. This guy's pretty good. Cool Rodan picture. The Mueller right there. Oh. So there's that. That's where that is. What's in there? Oh, there's, oh, there's a Kira Takahara, I think. Hello? That was a Kira Takarada in there. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> this is going on forever. Excuse okay. Me. Well, I guess we'll catch you after this stupid line. Hey guys, we got our tags. Finally got through. Let's see? And we got the manual right there. And uh, I got my stuff, so we're gonna try to figure it out. Um, we're actually gonna do our dealing and wheeling today, apparently, uh, thanks to some advice from an uh, experienced uh, visitor here. So, yeah, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do, and then we'll update you then. That's a Karen Tomcott out there. I think it's because it was Dorito. He's always asking me to introduce to a really good looking babe. <laughs> a couple times I actually did. <laughs> And uh, they sent me a script, it was just two little lines that I would say, and I was, I, I was working at the immigration. And then they were shooting in Vancouver, so I went to Vancouver. Uh, apparently my uh, scene was actually the very first scene of uh, first shooting of the movie. Um, I was very nervous, and so was the staff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First of all, 
was the very, very first thing to be shot for the whole movie. They had a director's chair for me with my name on the back. It was pretty cool. All the staff has been really nice to me. It took about a half a day to film my part. Um, until about a month before the movie was to come out, uh, he thought he was going to be in the movie, and then he got a, a, uh, a phone call from a production agency and said, the movie is four hours long, they're going to have to cut some of that, your whole scene is being cut up. We're so sorry! <laughs> He said, all you need to do is cut out a minute and a half of Ken Watanabe and put me back in. goes up there. Holy crap. Hopefully we go see. This is the dealer's room. One, two. Going into the dealer's room. Oh my god. Holy crap. This is calling your name. Hey! Holy crap! <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, right. Here, the bachelor figure over there. X plus GMK got so. That guy is huge. Now it makes sense why he's eight hundred dollars. <laughs> There's one of my favorite guns. Oh, a 2014. Look at that. That is amazing. Do you want model kits or not? Um, yeah, I do like 54. <laughs> that. I want. That's weird. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna toss it. Dang. GMK shirt. Who? Harry and Henderson. Oh no way. Look at Zilla. I mean, sorry, Mark. Ooh, Bandai stuff. Bandai Ultraman. Wow. Cool stuff, tiny ones, all of those guys. Appreciate it. Ooh, Godzilla stuff. Absolutely. Here's a Batra figure. $65. Damn. What about Space Godzilla? I am! Look at all around. How much is he? Maybe it is. Doesn't even say. There's a camera. GMK. There's the uh, 1989 GMK Ghidorah. I'm gonna go see. Uh, do you guys have the Ultraman uh, first season on DVD? Look at this guy. 
Oh, I guess it's right there. Just yeah. spend over 50 with us, you get that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Uh, hey, they don't have the memorial box. Sorry, is this, this one right here? Uh, I believe he's 90. Uh, are we doing 90 on Morgan? Yeah. Is it 90? Yeah. 90? What about this one? Uh, Mega Gears? Yeah. Uh, 75. Oh, 75, I see. I just saw it. Do you have the uh, 1964 Memorial Box, Bandai Godzilla? The 64? Uh, I think the only three we have left, buddy, are right oh, here. Oh, okay. Um, we did have the box, but it's kind of gotten picked through, so... Alright. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Alright, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. I'm over here. Uh, what's, what's that? Well, this is the same thing that is done. Okay. We have uh, Godzilla 1964. Oh. Uh, excuse me? Uh, how much is the 1964 Memorial Box, Godzilla? Uh, 125. 125? Alright. Dang, that guy's... Still yeah. He's a rare one. <laughs> you lead, you go. I know. Look at all those figures. There we go. Dad! Dad! No. Uh, really? I don't know. What does it say? This guy's used. Big marbles. I know. I'm just looking. How much is it? There it is. I'll probably come back later. Yes, it will. Better won't. But somebody grabs it. I'm not gonna. You said to be careful. Dang, these are big figures. Holy crap, there's so many things. Here's the movies. There's burning dogs in all. Jeez, look at this. Oh, they are doing the same That's legit, man. Walmart it's 35 bucks. They have a hyper guy house. Oh, they have a crab destroyer. 70 bucks. Whoa! say she's used, but oh, yeah, I forgot I'm not getting a little down. Oh my god. Some of these guys don't even have price tags. 30. Uh excuse me? How much is that hyper guy else over there? I would also get that. This box? No, the purple one hanging from there next to Rodan. 40. 40? Alright, thank you. Mom, look at this 1984 figure. Oh, I don't think they have the 64 figure either. Ask him. Alright, all right, let's get out of here. It's 
Yeah, all their Memorial Rock figures are up there. I'm sorry? Yes, Jim got the look. Uh, oh, excuse me. It's 40. 40? Yep. There's Richie, so. Excuse me, can I have a question back? Absolutely. These are 30. Uh, Alright, I'll have to go check them out again. I don't know. I, I look, there's nothing. Holy crap. These guys have so many figures. They have wages. No way. I got one. I got one. Well, I don't really get it. I'm pretty sure if you're exclusive one, would get it. These guys gotta be not too expensive. I mean, look how many figures they have to sell. I don't know how much this guy is. I think I saw a couple down. Ah, there's one down there. Oh. Trying to get a Mega Gear. Got a Mega Gear for her? Yeah. Oh, they have Titanosaurus. How much is this Titanosaurus? It's 100. 100? Damn. How much is this Memorial Box 64? 150. 150. Oh, okay. More expensive. Um, <laughs> $25. It was 125, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't even have enough to one of that. Damn. It's almost like I want to come on Sunday. Look at that one. Oh yeah, that's New York as well. There's a whole table I missed over there. I'll have to come back. It's like crowded. I just saw, I can't add them in the field. I'm like, maybe I'll bring my bag. I didn't, I didn't have to dig them out. I knew what it was. I'm at 15 bucks a lot. Uh, that's fine, but I just got done finding it. How much is this space, Godzilla? 45. 45? Alright. Let's check over here. Wasn't there another place that had him for 35? Hmm? There was another place that had him for 35. Uh, America? 69. Oh, yeah, these guys seem to be expensive. You can find some stuff cheaper online. Right here. There's Godzilla shirt. Godzilla poster. Thirty dollars each. Frame included. That's my favorite Godzilla. Japanese Godzilla movie. Thirty dollars. You know what? I might get that if I don't find any cheap figures. That sounds pretty good, actually. Oh look, they have all these posters actually. I'd probably get GMK though. There's a primal Mothra. And Biomontech. Holy crap. Yeah, that's what I 
I even have X plus my own too. I want to ask how much. How much is this Biolante? He's two hundred and fifty dollars. All right, thank you. Um, but you know what? That one's a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how much this Batra is? You know what's looking for? This one here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sixty-five. All right, thank you. Yeah, so the cheapest batch I've seen is 35 bucks. Damn. That's a big X plus. Burning Godzilla. Man, if you want to get a haul of figures, you have to come out like with like thousand dollars in here. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna toss this one. That's cool. I wonder how much. Yeah, that thing is probably expensive. Us? Oh. How much is this guy? Right here. Oh, sorry. Uh, he uh, that mild kit is three seventy-five. All right, thank you. Hey, that guy's cool. So. So you have to paint them yourself and stuff? Yep, they come similar to this, but they come in pieces. And you have to do a little bit of putty work, uh, a little bit of you know, gluing, obviously. And then you prime them up and start painting away. That's impressive. Nice work. It's cool. And then I've got guys on basically on staff. Look at that Frankenstein mask. Holy crap. All right, guys, that's the whole G-Fest, so I guess uh, you guys will see once I pick up something or not. So, you guys are not going to believe this, but I actually got three Bandai figures inside of here, this bag. I got a... Uh, actually, I'll tell you guys about that later, but... I just can't, I can't, I can't wait for this. You guys, I got Batra. I got the Flying Batra for 100 bucks. The Flying Form Bandai Batra. I can't believe it. I want to thank my dad so much. He uh, lended me 10 bucks so I could uh, get it. I had 90 bucks left, so he let me get it. But that's definitely the highlight here. You want a picture of that thing? <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Here, yeah, I'll get it. You lead the way. She's never spent time. Nice work. I like the art style. It's very unique. <laughs> so we're selling some of their stuff. Too. Wow. That is impressive. Which Ghidorah is this supposed to be? It's kind of like my own take on it. The legendary one? Yeah, yeah I'm cool. thinking like, if he looks like that in the new movie, I'll be thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> that just, would be cool. I think he just looks, he's such a beautiful face. Yeah. Very nice work. Thank you. Very beautiful. Uh, 3D sculpture. Yeah. Sculpture? Yeah. Like, they're programs on the computer. Pacific rooms. Oh, 
Digital ruins more of a modern sound, probably more on the. Um, I mean, they're not like pretty little filth or anything like that. Yeah, like God's cool. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. It's like comic book stuff. Oh, that is right there. That's a 130 plus page graphic novel. Wow. My own art, my own creations. Wow, nice. That's very impressive. It's only $15. Yeah, that's heavier. Is it like uh, unique monsters that you made up? It's right here. It's uh, Arrakis, and he's going to fight with uh, Ajar Shatan. There's a bunch of other smaller ones in there as it tells through the story. Cool. That's cool. And with it, you get a bunch of autographs for free. <laughs> I'm the artist, and the writer, and the letterer. For free? And Jeff Zorno did the front cover. Oh, wow. Oh, sounds awesome. Matt awesome. did some work on the back, Matt Frank. Matt Frank, really? Yep. Wow. This is a bunch of stuff. So, you, you did everything with this. Yeah, I did it. That is very impressive. Created the characters. Plot of the story, Wayne wrote it all. Props to you. That was good. Very cool. Nice work. Thank you. I'll probably try to come back either later today or tomorrow. I know Matt's getting ready to do his presentation. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kennedy Room? This is Matt Frank's drawings. Matt Frank is amazing with this stuff. I have one of his uh, comics at home. I love this stuff. That is so cool. Is it all different Godzilla? Yes, every Godzilla, yeah. He's even got Cretaceous Ghidorah up there. Gamera and Paragon. Gamera. Hey, just finally got an, I just finally got a lunch break. That's so cool. Look at this. King Kong vs. Mechacombo. That's why I have like all these brains here. Is that the earth? Thank you. I love the uh, I'm trying. A, a new Godzilla out there. Yeah, I had more of that. You should see the Pirates coming They're awesome. Can't see anyone's trouble. What? They're like the, uh, they're like the uh, movie posters. Yeah, it was a new receiver. It does not necessarily have a storehouse full of gas masks. That's actually it's funny because that's her art, but it's my color. I colored it and I didn't get credit for color. Feel free to check anything out. Try Godzilla. You guys have a series right there. A little Billy? Um, I can show you a little Billy. Wow. No, no. Look at that. Uh, that would be a little Billy. Mothra stuff. Wait, does that have? Um, does that have her symbol on it? That would be cool. That's cool. Buck buttons. Shin Gojira for president. That's great. Uh, I Nice work. So, thank you. Cool. Oh, thank you. Hi. you guys go. See that. Fine. Prince of 10, okay. small Prince 3, 5, and 3. <laughs> yeah. Very cool.
I like this art for the bear gun. Yeah. I, I did the I did these five for the Kaiju Assault card game over there. Oh really? Yeah. So not only oh, that's a Kaiju Assault. Yeah. It's a card game. Uh huh. That's cool. Is it like where where do you usually get them? Like online or something like that? Uh, either online or you can probably purchase. You mean these prints or? Uh, the card game. Itself. Oh, the card game. Um, possibly online, but also best bet would be just buying it right here. All right. Card game? Yeah, it's a card game. I was thinking about that because I saw that.